What's up guys? So today we're back here at Hungry Mother Park. Check out my little umbrella. Anyway, it's been raining like all day. Hurricane Florence is about to come here in about five seconds. So uh, I'm gonna try to get some fishing done. Came to the lake today just because I knew the rivers wouldn't be very good. So I don't know if I'm gonna get to catch any big fish, but I got the fly rod here with me today. And I rigged up a few rods here. I got a jig rod, we'll take that. I got the best camera woman in the whole entire world behind the camera, my girlfriend, Aubriana Lawson. Just by the way, when you see these sick, sick shots, give her the credit to it. I'll link her Instagram down in the description. Just kidding, I'm not going to do that so y'all don't hit her up. Alright, I think 17 rods should be enough for today. My goal is, every time I go fishing, is to bring more rods than fish I catch. That's not hard. <laughs> That's enough. not hard, is that what you said? Yeah, I said usually Look, one's enough. I already got a hook in me. Perfect. Fly fishing is not my thing. That's all we got to learn. Hello. Alright. Catch you guys in a second. Alright guys, so this is the first spot right here. This is actually the outflow of the lake right here. So I'm going to fish this a little bit. So we saw some fish in here the last time we came. Um, I did manage to catch a couple bluegills, but I got some new flies here with me today. I got a little streamer here, thinking I could hook up like with a smallmouth bass or something in here, because I've been seeing some of those as well. Um, and I also got a popper, like a bigger size popper for my fly rod, because I learned from y'all's comments that an eight weight's definitely a little too big for bluegill, um, but it still can do the job if you use small flies. Uh, but mostly I'm going to want to use this combo for bass and bigger bass. Uh, so I'm going to try to see if I can catch one on this. The reason why I'm so far from the water right now is because the water's extremely clear and I don't really want to scare off these fish. It's also very shallow. Hold up a second. We got to figure this out. Oh yeah. We might have to, uh, suspend this live stream for 25 minutes. Look at this. Oh man, I'm so good at fly fishing. Now this doesn't make sense. How can that possibly happen? You lay you you lay a fly rod down, and then all this crap happens. Look at that! Did y'all see him eat it? Oh! Did you see that? I know. Come on. Eat it, man. Oh, yes. Yay! Got one. Don't drag him across the rock. Be careful. Are they watching him on the live? Yeah. <laughs> this is how it's done, boys. All right, guys, on YouTube, chest mount people that are watching this. So my girlfriend's over here recording this on live. The people on Instagram are seeing it. My first bass on a fly rod. Let's see if I can't hoist this boy up here. Yay! Not very big, but What's his name. His name is um it's definitely not a female. So uh I'm gonna name him uh Bob. This is Bob. What are they saying? Camera. You suck at fishing. Jump in and catch them barehanded. For real though. Let's go noodling. Alright, let's let this guy go. We did what we wanted. Hold up. No, no, no. Keep it going. No, no, no. I'm up. No, you're not. Oh, there's a bass. He's coming in for it. He's coming in. Oh, eat it. That's a largie. You see him? No. Oh, oh. He's turning on it. The bass is. Is that what that stripey thing is? Yep. Come on, man. What the heck? In that They're all around us. Oh, there's a bass. They're like swimming in a school. They, what school do they go to? Oh! Oh, honey! Oh, he died. He literally died. He did. No, he didn't. He's still like flinching. No, he's dead. Why did you do that? I didn't. I thought it was a bass. I set the hook and he went flying. That's awful. 
Michael. Hold up. Let's see if he's dead. He yes, has to. It's not living anymore. Just. He's just dead. Put him back in so he can swim away. He's not going to swim away. No, he's floating. What do you do with it then? I don't know. God. That was a very abrupt, painful death. What kind of fisherman is that? I don't know. Oh, he's moving. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Resurrection. Ah. Stop. He can do it on his own. He knows how, Jared. Quit touching him. Usually, if you like push the water Here, through their go. gills for them. Do you hear me? Let go. All right. Someone said rip the fish. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Ah, he's like messed up. Jared. Should we just kill him that way he don't suffer? No. Oh. Oh, my gosh. She's messed up bad. Oh, jeez. We need to kill him, hon. He's swimming oh, in circles. No. He's swimming in circles. Wait. He hit like like I set the hook and he went flying. Okay, you. S <laughs> There's a difference between setting the hook and absolutely like yanking it in so hard he slammed into the wall. Okay, well, I guess we'll just let him chill. See if he oh, makes he's it. Not chilling. Oh, he's running away. He is. Probably. He made it. He did make it. He made it. Well, sort of. He's good. No, he's good. He's he's upright. Like, yeah. No, he's fine. Well, what happened was he, he might be blind in one eye. And then he's using a fly rod, so he pulled it in so hard it smacked into the squall, and then he puts it back in the water and it starts like spinning. I'm stupid. I know what they'd eat. Oh my god! They'll eat these right here. These little helgramite baits. A guy sent me these. I'm going to just put it on a little Ned rig. I bet they'd eat it. It's been a while since I've tried these baits. You know what's really cool about these, Aubriana? What's cool about them? They're biodegradable. Really? Yeah. Cool. The fish can eat them. Like, and they'll, they'll be perfectly fine. You can eat them and they'll be fine. Damn. They don't have any hormones in them or anything. That's what the guy was telling me. They sent them to me. I just have never really had much luck on them, but a lot of people on YouTube that he sent them to have made videos just slaying the bass on them. So I'm gonna catch one on this bait. Time to try out this biodegradable, hormone-free Ned Rig Helgramite. Looks pretty realistic to me too. And they're like, plastic's really durable too. You can stretch it out. You couldn't do that with like a Cinco. Got one, Abriana. Yeah, bass. Yay. Large mouth. Told you I was gonna catch one. You did. I know. I didn't see him in there either. I just, it looked like a good place. So I cast in there. Small little largemouth. Name? Yeah. Billy. Bye, Billy. Why are they eating it now? The biodegradable Nico bait worked. It pulled through. First fish I caught on this bait. Hung up. That's going to do it for today's video. All right. Broke it off. That's pretty much going to do it for today's video. Uh, we weren't really out here too long. Got to bring the fly rod. Did something I've never done before. Um, recorded Instagram live. Abriana was in charge of that. I caught a bluegill and a smallmouth bass right here in this like six inches of water. On Instagram live. Only a couple people were on there. 
I'll throw my Instagram handle up on the screen right now. Uh, that way you guys can follow me. I plan on doing more lives in the future. And again, I just thought that was awesome to catch a fish on live video. Normally I'm out here for hours fishing and I only catch like one fish. Um, but today I was able to catch those two fish on live and then I just caught a largemouth uh, right here in this pool of water. Um, yeah, that pool of water right there. And they weren't very big fish, but a lot of fun nonetheless. Great day to be out here with my girlfriend, enjoy the outdoors, and uh, just have a good evening. Good break from school work. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much does it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like on the video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go take some fishing.